So I think if you own a Harley Davidson and you ride a Harley Davidson, that automatically makes you a Harley rider, which I am not. <laughs> it's kind of a weird thing to explain, but some of you out there will understand exactly what I'm talking about. When I had bought this bike, I had paid for the paint match on the quarter fairing and I had paid for already all the parts and all the labor that it was going to take to put all these parts on this bike. But I figured, you know, them doing all that work to this bike and everything, I will just, it'll probably cost me, you know, 500 bucks because I knew the cost of the first service wasn't free. And they do all kinds of other things other than change the oil on these bikes. <sighs> I freaking love that though. So anyways, I figured it was going to cost me $500 to have all that stuff done, which I would have gladly paid. I didn't have a problem with that. You know, I knew they had to put some time into it. And I was just willing to pay a little bit extra just for, you know just to kind of be thankful that they do all the work because in my mind my bike would have been down there at the shop for maybe a day maybe two we're thinking probably four hours worth of labor so tack that on top of the $300 uh, initial first service and then some cost to put all this stuff on here remember I had paid for all this stuff it was in my contract I had ordered so much stuff for this bike that I took this $14,500 motorcycle and out the door cost was just over $20,000 what I financed on this bike. So everything's paid for. But what had happened, <laughs> this is a part of the story where I'm gonna get into why owning a Harley Davidson sucks. It's a service. What had happened when I took my bike down there and I dropped it off, I think it was on like a Wednesday. I said, can you guys have this done by Saturday? I can come pick it up. Oh, sure. No problem. We'll have it done by then. Saturday rolls around. The mechanic that was working on my bike gets off work and leaves. And where's my bike? It's sitting on the fucking stand at his workstation. Still. I go, great. Now my $500 cost, and I'm assuming he's probably going to skyrocket. So Monday comes around, I think it was, and I get the phone call, well, your bike's ready to be picked up. Okay, fine. I go down there and pick up my bike. And I walk up to the service department and say, I'm here to pick up my bike. The guy looks at me and says, okay, that'll be 950 bucks or something like that. And honestly, I lost my shit right there. I went off on this guy. Everybody's standing around looking at me, and I'm yelling at this guy like, you got to be fucking kidding me. So everybody's looking at me and I could see some heads bobbing up and down. They're agreeing with me, you know, a first service and swap out a pair of handlebars and they want $900. I was so mad. I was asking the guys like, who the fuck do you think I am? Who do you think any of us are that we're just millionaires that you can just charge us whatever the hell you want because my bike was sitting up on your stupid mechanic stand for four days longer than it should have taken to do this? You think I'm just going to pay those labor costs? when he's out there smoking cigarettes or diddling his whatever the hell out in the parking lot instead of working on my bike and getting it done efficient manner no I'm not paying that much so I ended up getting in an argument with this guy and he was a bottle right he just didn't want to budge on this price but I finally threw enough of a shit bit he knocked it down to $700 which to me still wasn't good enough so I'm making a scene there you damn right I'm making a scene this guy's trying to rob me of a whole entire paycheck. Maybe not quite, but almost a whole entire paycheck just to swap out some handlebars and do an oil change? Fuck you. So the manager comes out. I think it's the owner's daughter. She's the manager. Now this dealership isn't even owned by the same people anymore. And she was quite the nice gal. I had no problem with her. She was really nice about everything, actually. And she was apologetic about it. I'm sorry it took so long, you know. What do you mean for this happen? But I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. You still charge me $700 for a $500 job that should have been $300 to begin with because I paid for all this stuff already. So I ended up walking out of the door having to pay $700 for 
for my initial service and to have my motorcycle my moto bar swapped out which is basically the only part that i needed them to do for me because it, it required bleeding the brakes doing something with the abs changing out the cables and all that stuff i get it i get it. it's not easy work i totally get it but i ended up paying 700 dollars for all this crap that i already paid for and you know what conveniently they couldn't find the paperwork where it said that i had already paid for all this stuff so they were gracious enough to knock it down a couple hundred bucks and only charge me seven hundred dollars for it you know what kiss my ass because the guy that i bought the bike from the salesman he wasn't even working there anymore so he couldn't even back me up so yeah i was a little irritated and i still have a bad taste in my mouth over the dealership and their 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 service department so this is what really sours me about owning a harley davidson and the whole entire harley davidson experience is that i know my next service is going to be coming up at what five thousand miles or something i'm gonna to have to take it back down there and have the service work done on it and i am dreading that experience because i know i'm going to take it down there and they're going to spin on their thumb and they're going to stick it right up my ass and then when i go to pick up the bike they're going to say well that'll be 1200 bucks because harley davidson as a business model this is my opinion i think the dealerships have made a practice out of overcharging people for the dumbest crap and they've gotten away with it forever because their clientele are these middle-aged white guys who have money to burn so they think that everybody that walks into that door at that dealership is in the same situation nah dude a lot of us out here are riding harley davidson doing blue collar work we work in the trades man we work in construction and our money means a lot to us but you're out there us because you group us in with that same bunch of guys 55 year old retired wealthy dot-com boomer white guys that have all kinds of money and nowhere to fucking spend it but you're doing the same thing to us when we can't afford it so you know what this whole experience just dealing with the Harley Davidson dealership and what goes on behind the scenes of getting work done on your bike it is absolutely just destroyed my Harley Davidson ownership experience because I don't want anything to do with their service departments. Now, some of you say, well, just take it to a different service department. <laughs> well, it's not that easy. I would have to ride my bike like two hours away to have my bike service. And what are the chances of actually finding a Harley Davidson dealership who has a good service department who's not going to screw you over? It's almost slim to none. So, what I'm going to do is I have a friend of mine who knows a guy who is a good Harley Davidson mechanic, I'm going to take it to him. And I'm going to say, you know, I need my, my service done. And it'll probably be like, oh, it'll be a couple hundred bucks. You know what, dude, I'm going to give you 500 bucks to do it. Just because I want your, your trust. You know, and if I have to buy your trust, if I have to throw you an extra bone to make sure you do a good job on my bike, I'm going to do it. Because I'm not giving any more money to Harley Davidson. I don't give a crap. I bought a, a $500 jacket from them just kind of on a whim I didn't even want the damn thing but it was kind of cool looking you know it, it's an alright jacket $500 jacket from them didn't even come with a piece of back armor in it they wanted $80 for that piece of armor so I never wear the jacket because it's not 100% safe in my mind I bought a hoodie $80 for that but as far as spending money at the Harley Davidson dealership is concerned I will never, ever, ever buy a new Harley Davidson ever again because their service sucks, period, end of story. And I don't care if some of you out there are like, well, you know, my, my, my dealership is pretty all right. They do pretty good. Well, good for you. I'm glad that's, you know, that's your experience, but it's just not my experience. And the thought of taking my bike in to have it serviced ever again is just, I'm done. I'm just, it's, it's ruined me. I'm sure I'll get a couple of comments if this video gets out to enough people. I'll have your, your hardcore Harley Davidson guys who call each other brother. Hey brother, how you doing brother? Deuces down brother and all that bullshit. I don't give a fuck about you guys. But I'm sure there are a couple of you guys come in here, quit whining and crying man, just pony up, spend the money. Fuck you. I make good money but I'm not, I'm not a sucker. I don't enjoy being ripped off. So I think if I ever do get rid of this bike and I trade up for something that's more capable of going on longer road trips, I am not buying a Harley-Davidson. I'm just done with the whole experience. 
and the dealerships have ruined it for me because if I need to have something done, I don't want to go to the dealership to have it done. So fuck them. They're not getting any more of my money. And I buy a lot of motorcycles. I've been riding for about six years and I've had over probably a dozen, 15 motorcycles. Well over half of them I bought brand new, including this one. So fuck you, Harley. I'm done with you. Oh my God, the fucking skunk. Oh, I can taste it. Anyways, sorry to have such a serious, uh, spirited, angry conversation with you guys today, but I just kind of wanted to get it out there because I'm just, I'm just, I don't know. It's, I'm ruined. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Uh, right, Tate. Have a good day. We'll see you on the next one.